All right, let's do an easy trick for adding audio to your Google Slides. Um, what you're going to do is go into your Google Drive and then you're going to go to your little waffle right here up in the corner and you're going to scroll down and click more from G Suite Marketplace or more from whatever it has down there at the bottom, um, depending on if you're in a G Suite or however you use your Google. And then you're going to search for cloud audio recorder and this is a Google Chrome extension that you're just going to install real quick and add to your Google Drive. Um, so you can see mine's already installed because I use it all the time um, but if you just push this little um, plus to Google Drive then it will walk th you through installing it um, and then once you have it installed it should show up in your little waffle so you can see it's right here. So I'm going to go right into the um, cloud audio recorder and it looks kind of weird like it looks a little sketchy but it, it's legit it works <laughs> you can see like there's a random spelling error but it totally works and it's free and simple and easy to use okay so let's say I have this phonic center open and I'm thinking okay my kids that need to practice reading short vowel words are gonna have a hard time reading these directions because they're a little bit lengthy and some bigger words so I want to add a little audio bubble to help them know what to do um, so you're gonna go um, I usually just split my screen a little bit so I can control my recorder and then still see um, what I'm supposed to say when I'm recording so pardon the dragging here, okay? So then you're just gonna go to your recorder and you're just gonna push start. So you'll click start, short vowel words, collecting candy. Number one, choose a candy game board slide. Number two, spin the spinner. Number three, go forward that many spaces and read the words in each space out loud. So you get the idea. You're just gonna record and then you're gonna push stop um, when you're done and then you'll click export as mp3 and then you're gonna just click save to Google Drive okay and then if you haven't done this before it will have you just authorize your Google Drive so that it can save it and um, then you can choose the folder you want to save it to in your Google Drive um, so you know exactly where it's going to um, save and then you click save to Google Drive just like this and then the green box will pop up, upload it to Drive. And then you can go back over to your um, Google slide and then click insert and go to audio. And then it will show all of the audio files that are in your Drive. And you can see here, um, that's the last one right there, my audio recording. And so you can just go ahead and click select and pop that right in there and then you can make it bigger if you want this little icon so they see it wow that's really big <laughs> it's a little bit of a lag when I'm screen recording here so sorry about the delay here but you can make it as big as you want and then whenever they're ready to um, play they can just click the play button and it will read aloud and then that saves you a little saves you a step of recording on a different device and adding it to your Google Drive and then inserting it. So it just saves you a couple steps um, and then you can add audio to the, re the instructions. And these centers are from Lucky Little Learners, um, the Literacy Centers. This is from the Phonics. So you could also add an audio just directions right here in the recording sheet. You could add an audio directions right here um, depending on what your students need. And then I wouldn't add audio on the game um, because I want them to read the words and practice the words. Um, but with instructions, I think that's really helpful for them so they know exactly how to do the activity, especially with distance learning when you're not there to walk them through it.